Hello everyone, welcome back to Tea Time Crochet. Um, today we're going to be working on this jellyfish. Um, it's a toy that you can hang up or, you know, that they, they could just play with. My daughter um, seen a picture on the internet that she really liked and she asked me if I could, you know, make her a pattern for it. So this is what I came up with. It's really cute. Um, it has safety eyes. You could use buttons or you could embroider it on, but I think the safety eyes looks really cute. And it has little curly cues and um, just chains for the little legs. And you could do it in really bright colors. And um, it's a really simple pattern, so I'm going to go ahead and get to the tutorial now. I'm using Red Heart Super Saver in the color Black Light. Um, this is really bright and fun, and I think it's going to be really, really nice for um, this jellyfish. Um, I've really been dying to see how this works up. So, um, but any worsted weight yarn will work. You're going to need a 4.5 millimeter crochet hook, your scissors, uh, your yarn needle. And you're going to need a stitch marker because we're going to be working in continuous rounds. Um, I use a paper clip. You can use whatever you've got on hand. And you're also going to need some fiber fill. It's also called polyfill. Um, this is just a big bag that I have. So it looks like this. And this is what we're going to stuff our, our, our jellyfish with. So we're going to start with a slip knot. And we're going to chain three. One, two, and three. And we're going to slip stitch to join into this beginning stitch or beginning chain. So I'm going to chain one, and then I'm going to go into that stitch, or into that ring with 12 single crochets. So that's one, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve, and we're going to be working in continuous rounds, so we're not going to be joining here. And that's just going to keep um, from having that seam down the back of our project. So what you want to do is you want to pull your tail tight, tighten up that center. And um, every other row is going to be just straight one single crochet in every stitch. So. For row two, we're going to just work into the top of this uh, beginning stitch here with a single crochet, and that's where we want to pop our stitch marker in. That way we know when we get back to that spot, that's our beginning stitch. So we're just going to put one single crochet in every stitch around.
so that's the last stitch for this round and for row three we're going to take out our stitch marker we're going to put one single crochet into that stitch and replace our stitch marker And then in the next stitch, we're going to put two single crochets, and that is our repeat for this round. So the next stitch is one single crochet, and the next stitch is two single crochets. And then we're just going to repeat that all the way around. So we get back to our stitch marker. And here's my last stitch, which should be two single crochets. Okay, so we're going to take our stitch marker out and this is going to be our regular one double or one single crochet in every stitch around. So we're going to replace our stitch marker. So we'll put one single crochet in every stitch. So that's our last stitch. Okay, so we're going to take out our stitch marker. And for row five, or round five, we're going to put one single crochet into that beginning stitch, place our stitch marker. One single crochet in the next stitch and then two single crochet in the next stitch and that is our repeat for this round so go ahead and repeat that all the way around and I will meet up with you when I get to the last stitch right before the stitch marker okay so I finished round round five and you should end with an increase so we're going to remove our stitch marker and we're going to do our regular single crochet row So that's one single crochet in every stitch around for row six. Okay, so for round seven, we're going to remove our stitch marker. And we're going to place a single crochet in there and then replace our stitch marker. And then one single crochet in the next, and then one single crochet in the next, and then two single crochet in the next. And that is our repeat for this round. So that's three single crochets and then an increase. So go ahead and finish that out and I will meet up with you when I am on my last stitch. So I completed round, round seven and as usual you should end with an increase. And um, round eight is just going to be a single crochet row so one single crochet in every stitch around. Okay, 
Here's my last stitch. So we're going to put a single crochet there and then replace our stitch marker. And then this row is going to be, it's going to be four single crochets and then an increase. So one, two, three, and four, and then our increase is in the fifth stitch. So one, two, three, and four, and then our increase. So go ahead and finish out this row. Um, you're just going to repeat that all the way around, and then after that do your single crochet row, and then I will meet up with you when I have finished both of those rows. Okay, so I finished um, round nine, and then I did my single crochet row after that, and then this is going to be our last increase row. So we are going to put a single crochet there and then put our stitch marker. And then um, we're going to have five single crochets and then an increase. So that's one, two, three, four, and five. And then our increase, which is two single crochets. And that is our repeat for this round. So one, two, three, four, and five. And then our increase. So go ahead and repeat that all the way to your last stitch, and then I will meet up with you there. Okay, so that's our la the last of our increase rows. So we're going to do three more rows of just regular single crochet, one single crochet in every stitch around. So we're going to do it just like before. Just putting one single crochet in every stitch. So go ahead and complete all three rounds of your one single crochet in every stitch and then I will meet up with you there. Okay, so I finished my last three rounds and then you're just going to fasten off leaving a long tail. Uh, that way we can use it to sew the bottom on. So we're just going to set this aside for later. And now we're going to start working on the bottom portion. I'm going to start with a slip knot. I'm going to chain three, one, two, and three, slip stitch to join to this beginning stitch. And we're going to chain one, and we're going to put 12 single crochets into that ring. So this is one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eleven and twelve, and you can give that end a tug to close up that center. And we're going to put 
um, one single crochet into that beginning stitch. So that's one. And we're going to add our stitch marker. And then in the next stitch, we're going to put two single crochets and then one and then two and that is the repeat for this round so if you want to go ahead and do that and then I will meet up with you when I get to my last stitch for row two we're going to put a slip stitch into that beginning stitch or a single crochet into that beginning stitch place our stitch marker And then we're going to put one single crochet in the next stitch and then two single crochets in the next. So the repeat for this round is two single crochets and then an increase. So my two single crochets and then my increase. So go ahead and complete the row or the round out and I will meet up with you when I get to my last stitch. For row three, we're going to remove our stitch marker, put one single crochet into that beginning stitch, put our stitch marker back in, and we're going to put um, three single crochets and then an in our increased row. So we have one, two, and three. And then this is going to be our increase. So two single crochets. So one, two, and three. And then our increase. So go ahead and repeat that around and I will meet up with you when I'm on my last stitch. So I finished my round. For the next round we're going to slip stitch or we're going to single crochet into that beginning stitch and then place our stitch marker again. So we're going to do um, four single crochets and then our increase. So that's one, two, or that's one, this is two, three, and four, and then our increase, which is two single crochets, and that is the repeat for this round. So four single crochets and then an increase. So one more time, one, two, three and four and then our increase. So go ahead and finish out the row and I will meet up with you when I'm on my last stitch. Okay, for this round we're going to be doing seven single crochets and then the increase. So we're going to a uh, single crochet in this beginning stitch right here. Place our stitch marker. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. And then we're going to do our increase in the next stitch. So once again, that's seven single crochets and then the increase. So go ahead and do that and I will meet up with you when I get back to my last stitch. So I finished that round and the next round is going to be eight single crochets and then our increase. So we're going to start by putting our first single crochet into that beginning stitch, placing our stitch marker. So that's one, two, 
two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and then our increase in the next stitch. So go ahead and repeat that all the way around and I will meet up with you when I get to my last stitch. Okay, so that is the last of our increases. Now we're going to be working on the shell portion. So I'm going to single, single crochet into this beginning stitch and then I'm going to put two half double crochets all into the same stitch. So that's one, oops, two, and then a double crochet, and then we're going to work our way back down doing two half double crochets. One, two, and then a single crochet. And then we're going to scrunch that aside and we're going to single crochet in the next stitch. And then we're going to repeat that all the way around. So once again, in the next stitch we're going to put one single crochet, two half doubles, one double crochet, two half doubles, and then a single crochet. And that is what creates the shell. And then in the next stitch, we're going to scrunch that aside, and in the next stitch, we're going to put a single crochet. So you're going to repeat that all the way around until you get back to your last stitch. Um, you should end on a single crochet, um, but I'll, get, I'll meet up with you when I get to my last shell, and then we can work the end from there. Okay, so I did my last shell right here. I have one stitch left to put my single crochet in. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to slip stitch to join into this beginning single crochet of this shell just to fasten off. And then you can just cut your tail. And that's what you should have so far. Um, so we're going to work on uh, like the tentacles now. So what we're going to do is we're going to chain 35. And we're going to start on the curly Q portion. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty. 31, 32, 33, 34, 35. So we're going to work three double crochets into that beginning stitch right there, or that beginning chain. And then in the 
the next stitch we're going to put three double crochets in it too. And you're just going to do that in every stitch all the way down to the end. Put three double crochets in every stitch. And as you do it, it'll start to curl. And you're going to make a total of four to five of these. It just depends on how many you would like. Um, I think on the original one, I did four. So um, you could do four to five. So go ahead and do that and then complete all your others and then I will meet up with you then. Okay, so I finished my curly cues. I just did four. Um, like I said, you could do four or five. It doesn't matter. However many you want. So I'm just going to set those aside and now we're going to work on um, these little chains. These are super simple. And I'm also doing four of those, so I've already done three, and then I'm going to do the fourth one now. You want to make sure that you leave a longer tail so you can tie this on. And I forgot to mention that, that you need to make sure that you leave longer tails for these two. Um, that way you can tie, attach them to the bottom of the jellyfish. So all we're going to do here is just chain 35. So one, two, three, four... Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five. And then we're just gonna fasten off, so I'm just going to Cut my tail and I'm just going to pull that through and tighten it and then I'm just going to put a couple knots in there just to make sure that it doesn't come undone. It's a little bit of an extra measure because this is, you know, for children so So just like that, and then you can just cut that off. So now all we have left is just to assemble everything. So you're going to need the bottom, and we want the nice side facing out. So what you're going to need to do real quick is just hide your tails, and then this one we've already worked over, so you can just cut it short. So what we're going to do is um, we're going to attach um, the curly cues pretty much um, we're going to have one on each side so one two three and four and then since we have two tails here we're just going to tie those or run those through the center and then just tie them off. <clears throat> so just like that. And then you just want to flip it over and just tie a knot in that. And this is going to be on the inside of the jellyfish, so no one's going to see these knots at all. But it's just the quickest and most easiest way to attach these. And then you can just cut your tails off. So that's what it should look like. So we're just going to move to the other side and attach the next one. It doesn't have to be perfect. So just like that.
and then in between each one of these we're going to attach one of um, our chains. So we're just going to choose a spot somewhere in between the two of these. Just going to attach it just like that and then what we're going to do is we're just going to tie a little knot on this other side just to secure it oops lost my tail there so just like that and then you can just cut this off So that way you have uh, your curly cues and your little um, chain ones that are kind of in between the curly cues. So what you're going to do is I'm not going to show each each individual one. So you're just going to work your way around. So you'll have one here and one here, and then you'll have your four. Uh, chains in between. So go ahead and do that and then I will meet up with you when I have done all of mine and we'll move on to adding the head portion. Okay, so this is what you should have so far. Um, you have all four of your curly cues and then your chains are in between those. So real quickly before we attach the top we need to add our little hanger. going to do is we're just going to start with a slip knot and I'm just going to choose a spot on the top here to attach your yarn just with a slip stitch so just like that and then we're going to Um, chain six, one, two, three, four, five, and six, and then we're going to go directly across to the other side and attach it with a slip stitch just like we just did. and then you'll just fasten off. And what we'll do real quick with these tails that are right here is we're just going to thread them through the center. If you need to make this chain uh, longer, you can. Um, this is just so you can hang it. So just like that. And then we're just going to kind of flip this. And then I'm just going to quickly tie a knot in these. Just to secure them. And then I'm just going to cut those tails off. Okay, so I'm going to flip it back out. And this is where your fiber fill comes in. You're just going to try and fill that a little bit. Um, you don't want to get it too full right this second because it'll make it harder for you to sew the bottom part on. So you're just going to choose a 
spot to start from. And go ahead and thread your needle. And it really doesn't matter where you start from. You're just going to go through this stitch and out through the bottom. And then you're going to come back up in the next stitch. So just like that. And we're going to do that all the way around. And you want to make sure that you stretch this right to the edge where um, the shell stitches start. That way the, the shell stitches are sticking out, but um, you don't see the underneath portion. Just work your way all the way around. And then before we close it out, we're going to leave a little bit of a space to fill it real quick and then we'll finish sewing it. Okay, we're going to stop right there real quick and then we're going to go ahead and fill it. So I make sure all the spaces are filled. You don't want to fill it so the stitches are stretched out, but you do want to fill it to where it's nice and full. So you just want to look at it and see if there's like any little um, indentions or anything, because if there is, that means you need to fill that space a little bit more. bit more stuffing right there. It's going to poke out a little bit, but we want that to be full once we get this sewn in. So, so what you'll need to do is you'll just need to tuck it in as you're sewing it. want to check it one last time, make sure that you don't need any more stuffing. I'm 
There's my last stitch, so I'm just going to run it back down through the bottom here. And I'm just going to tie as small as knot as I can, and that will just secure it. So I'm going to go ahead and cut some of this a little bit shorter. And then I'm going to run it up through the center and out the side. And as I pull that, it'll pull that knot in. And then I can just tug on this, and that will pop right back inside. So here's your jellyfish. Um, you could add eyes to it if you wanted. Um, safety eyes would be really nice. You could add buttons. You could add glue googly eyes on it if you would like. But like I said, you could go ahead and add eyes to it. You could embroider a mouth if you wanted, although you would have to do all of that before you attached it to the bottom. But this is what it looks like. So I hope that um, it was helpful to everyone. So thanks for watching. Have a great day.